it's not easy to suddenly switch off and then suddenly go again. So it's uh, it's quite unique to have to do this mid-season. The shutdown is a mandated two-week break that all Formula One teams have to take. It's been in place for a number of years now and it's a time where we are not allowed to do any Formula One activities. In my opinion, it's one of the best rules that has been brought into Formula One. The F1 in-season shutdown is incredibly important to all the race team personnel, but not only them, also to their families. It's a two-week period where you can totally focus on yourself and them without any interruption from emails or texts or WhatsApps or thinking about meetings or the next race. It's a, a real good time to recharge your batteries. While I think there's an inefficiency to shutting down the factory and then having to restart, it's the same for every team. Every team has that same two week break to take. We've definitely got better at getting our heads back in the right space. You're so intense and the work is so even through the year that you can just switch off. To actually close the factory for two weeks and allow people to take a proper break is really important. From an operations perspective, the shutdown is, is really important. We plan many months in advance for those two weeks. Firstly, to make sure that we, we finish the last race in the best possible condition. But also, it's the only time really in the season where we can do a lot of our planned maintenance work. When that shutdown starts, we can get in and we can get all of our machines, all of our equipment fully serviced and fully maintained. The activities that aren't allowed during the shutdown are any work on the design and manufacture of parts for the Formula One car. But I think in the sort of sense of trying to be creative, actually taking a break, resetting your brain, thinking about other things, quite often that turns into interesting new ideas you wouldn't have had before. So if something interesting comes to mind, then thinking, okay, maybe I can explore that mentally. For a lot of us, it's sort of a part of your way of life. You, you're constantly thinking about motor racing, whether you're at the circuit or whether you're at home. Before we break up with the shutdown, we have to ensure that all of the administration is covered for the next event. So we have a, a buddy system where we double check our work to make sure that we've ticked all the boxes. There's an old adage that you don't have to be perfect in Formula One, you just have to be better than your competitors. And in every aspect of what we're trying to do, it's to try and do a better job than they're doing. And so whatever you're doing, you're taking that challenge on. And you know, we're generally aiming to try and find about a tenth of a second per race. And a race is roughly every two weeks. So it's that sort of amount of performance development that you're not getting due to the shutdown. But it's the same for everybody. Some of the components we put on the car, maybe say a front wing that might take you know, six to eight weeks to develop, there's two weeks of that time that you've gone missing, so you've got to add that to your sort of development timeline of bringing stuff to the track. The preparation is key because we, we race in Spa just before the shutdown. But when we get back from the shutdown, we're straight into another race weekend in Holland. So we only have a couple of days when we return to get the cars built and shipped out to Holland ready for that race. Making sure we're prepared for these two scenarios is going to be critical for the tail end of the season to come. Even picking the time of the shutdown, because there is some time when we can choose when to stop and when we start again 14 days later, is planned in great detail so that as soon as the clock ticks over to the end of the shutdown, we have people here, they know what they do and they're straight into the preparation for the next race event. During this 2023 season, we basically had a second shutdown because of the Chinese Grand Prix was cancelled. We were still allowed to work in the office, but at least it gave us some time to recharge our batteries. Like everything in Formula One, we are always looking to find performance, and the planning around the shutdown is no exception. Finishing the race in Spa, making sure we get the cars back here is meticulously planned to make sure we have everything in just the right place. Straight after the shutdown, we start to build the cars for the next event, which means all of the race team crew have to come into the factory and we'll do several pit stop practices, as well as building the cars for the next event to ensure that we're sharp and ready to go. I think in some ways the shutdown in the winter is going to be more challenging than that one in the summer. In the summer period we're developing the car race to race. In the winter we're obviously developing a brand new car um, and we've got to get that 
sort of extra week that we've got to fit in of the shutdown, that's got to get into our planning just to give ourselves the same amount of time to design and manufacture the components so that we can assemble the car and get it to the track on time.